let me find a research article. Let me see. Um, let me go to PeerJ. And I'm going to find a research article and then I'm going to ask it to make it more concise, summarizing the text essentially. Actually, I could just go to peerj.com slash Chenin. And this is me. Let me ask it to summarize here. This introduction from one of my research article. I'm just going to copy it from the introduction. And I'm creating a new one. Summarize the following text in 500 words or less. Paste it. All right, so we're continuing after the image here. All right, and I think we have the last paragraph in here and then we're just gonna paste it in and hit on the submit button. So all of this is in the introduction. So it is essentially about the estrogen receptor, about the breast cancer and how we're developing drugs in order to address breast cancer. So it starts out with a brief introduction, first eye view about breast cancer, and it is characterized by the presence of estrogen receptors, ER, including ER alpha and beta, play a critical role. Okay, ER alpha is found in these tissue, while beta is found in these tissue, signaling, blah, blah, blah. Hormone replacement therapy, targeting both ER alpha and beta increase the risk of breast and address this. CERM selective downward later used to block the effects. I think it's reasonably good. There is a need for new systemic therapy to address this issue. Okay, it's reasonably good. I must say it's reasonably good. But there might be some points that are pertaining to the use of QSAR or like machine learning in the field of ER alpha, but it's not yet mentioned here. So let me tell it to do that. Please also mention about the use of QSAR in studying estrogen receptors. Okay, but the thing is, it's good in that it's mentioning about QSAR, but then it's not the previous paragraph, but then tweaked to mention about QSAR. It's essentially rewriting a new paragraph dedicated to QSAR in the context of estrogen receptor. Yeah, so that is not what we wanted, but it's a good try. How about this? We tell it to combine both. Combine both paragraphs that you had just generated together. Not sure if it will know how to combine this one and this one. Let's see. If it's not able to do so, we could just, you know, manually copy and paste it together. But it apparently seems to be able to do so. Hmm. Okay, it's combining it, but then it's going to look a bit lengthy. And then we'll tell it to make it more concise. Okay, they did combine it literally just, you know, stacking it on top of one another. And here, this is the beginning of the second paragraph. Okay, so this is the great thing about ChatGPT is that you could tell it how to improve. And so the first prompt that you gave it is here to summarize the following text in 500 words or less. And then when we read the output, we found that it's totally lacking on certain topic. And then we tell it to do so in our second prompt. And it did, but then we felt that it lacked the first paragraph material. And so we tell it to combine both together, which it did literally, but then it's too lengthy. So we're going to tell it now to make it more concise. Make the paragraph more concise to be less than 500 words. Okay. So the great thing about it is you could help chat gb2 to refine its output so you're telling it how to improve and in doing so you're getting the results or output that you want okay it generated the paragraph let me see 
Is it 500 words? Let me search for a word. Word counter. Two hundred and seventy-five words. Okay, that's pretty good. How about we make it even less? Now make it less than a hundred words. Very concise. Okay, cool. It's containing elements of the QSAR as well. All right, it's pretty good. Let's see how many words it has now. 132. Okay, it's a little bit over 100 words.